Hey teachers, today we will use a number line to model subtraction. So very much like in addition, this is the first day that we're building ideas around counting back to subtract. So for example, if students are solving five minus three, what they have been doing is taking out all five, taking away the part they know to find the part they don't know. But on this day, they're gonna move away from taking out their whole Instead, they're gonna use their number line to slide to their whole, slide to five, take away the part you know to find the part you don't know, which then serves students tomorrow because they will learn to press five or keep five in their head and count back three. So five, four, three, two. Or press the part you know and count up to your whole three, four, five. How many fingers did we put up? Two. So today we're making this jump from counters to the number line and tomorrow we'll be making this jump from the number line to pressing and counting. Okay, so you're gonna start by inviting students to share what they know about number lines. Let them know that today we're gonna use our number line to subtract. Turn and tell your partner, what do you know about number lines? Invite a few students to share out. And then I think it would be interesting to ask students, if we're subtracting on the number line, do you think we're gonna go up the number line or down the number line? Why? This gives students the opportunity to generalize about what they know about subtraction. Well, almost every time I've subtracted, I've noticed that the part that I'm missing is smaller than the whole, so I'm thinking we're gonna go down the number line because our numbers are getting smaller. Okay, well, let's think about how we can use the number line to show nine minus four. We see the minus sign, which tells us that we're subtracting, so we know that nine is our whole. We're gonna take away four, the part we know, and we're looking for the other part. Let's take out our counters to show nine minus four, and then actually take your counters and move them down to the number line. Now we know when we're subtracting, we can take away the part we know. So I can take away one, two, three, four. Okay, took away the part I know. Now let me count up the part that's left. One, two, three, four, five. So the missing part is five. But you know what? It took me a long time to line all these counters up, take away the part I knew, to find the part I didn't know. So just like with addition, instead of doing that, I could just take my pen and slide all the way up to my hole. Nine is my hole, so I'm gonna slide until I get to nine. Just like when I was showing addition on my number line, I'm gonna put this big dot to show where I started. Okay, now I'm subtracting. That means I'm taking away. That means I've gotta go down the number line. Everybody point which way I'm going. Okay, now I'm taking away four. Well. I'm gonna take four hops down the number line. I'm gonna hop from one number to the next and one number to the next. So I'm gonna hop from nine to eight and eight to seven and seven to six and six to five. I took one, two, three, four hops down the number line and I landed on five. So nine minus four is five. Did you see what I did there? I started at my hole. I took away the part I knew to find the part I didn't know. And then practice together. You will be practicing with number sentences that all look a little different, some horizontal and some vertical, but please do make sure that you go to the last slide and print a number line and put it in a sheet protector for every kid to use during guided practice.